Hi friends, I'm Jamila, and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel from Ollante Tambo, Peru. So today is Tuesday, October 23rd, and tonight is the full moon. Full moon tonight in Taurus. It's one degree Taurus, 13 minutes. It's technically tomorrow morning, 9.45 a.m. Pacific time. That will be the exact full moon but tonight is the night of the full moon. And it's gonna be an Aries all night. So, whew, building up to this full moon with moon conjunct Uranus. So, the full moon in Taurus conjunct Uranus, this hasn't happened since the 30s, since Uranus was in Taurus again. So, a lot has changed since the 30s. We have really grown and Uranus is the planet of higher consciousness. It's the planet of change and disruption and earthquakes and sudden uh, swift lightning bolts of information. And, but it's really higher consciousness. It's really ascension. So this full moon that hasn't happened since the 30s, this is huge. And Venus is here too, Venus retrograde wanted to be a part of this beautiful full moon, of this beautiful alignment with the moon conjunct Uranus in Taurus. And then opposing, we have Venus conjunct the sun in Scorpio. Holy, holy, holy combination. The train says so too. This is a big deal. This is a big change. This is a huge change. And I really feel like this is the opportunity for us to get higher consciousness, for all of us to get an awareness, to get electrified. This is, the hills are alive with the sound of Uranus in Taurus. I think of Taurus as the hills. I think of Taurus as the earth. The earth, Mother Earth, Pachamama, they call it here in Peru. That's Taurus. So... The train is here to help remind us that this is a big deal. This full moon, <coughs> this full moon is huge. And it's an opportunity for huge change and huge growth and higher consciousness ascension. Uh, Venus is here with it in deep, deep, deep Scorpio. The sun just moved into Scorpio this morning. Sun in Scorpio at 4.22 a.m. Pacific time. So we move from this social Libra, outward, young energy of relationship creating to this inward, oh, deep and flowing waterfall of Scorpio. So all the energy is going inward now into where the one and one, this is Libra, become two in Scorpio. So it's really joining and melding. The waters are coming together, all building to this huge full moon that can really bring us any change that we want, any big giant change. Ask for that with Uranus and Uranus is there to bring it, to bring growth and new beginnings. And this last day before this huge alignment is the moon is squaring Pluto in Aries. Holy, holy. So, wow. This is really the time to burn it all out before. So we are really ready to let this Uranian change that's coming, which whatever, we don't know what it is because you cannot predict with Uranus. It's, it's the, that's the only un. It's the only thing you can predict is that it's unpredictable. It's just like life. It's always the change, it's always constant, and that's Uranus. And Uranus is going to be highlighted with this full moon, with the moon right next to it. They are holding hands, moon and Uranus, and they're saying, yeah, let's electrify the Earth, Mother Earth and Taurus. Let's wake it up. Let's wake up all the stuff of life that is solid and real, grounded, the trees, the hills are alive, everything is alive, our bodies are alive, the Taurus fixed part of our bodies, everything is becoming alive. If we're open, so let's be open, and with this full, with this moon in 
Aries today, so close to fullness, and it's squaring Pluto today. This is the time to burn it all out. Burn, it's a fire in our hearts, a fire in our spirits with Aries. To burn it out, cleanse it out, the cleansing of fire. As it squares Pluto, the moon visits the underworld, goes into the underworld, the sun moves into Scorpio, which is the underworld. So let's go down into the depths, into the bottom of it, light that fire, burn it all out. So we are ready for whatever beautiful change Uranus has for us because it has change in store for all of us. It's affecting all of us. So here we go. This is it. Let's burn it out. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful full moon tonight and tomorrow and let those ripples of electricity and awakening that Uranus offers wake us up and bring us into higher consciousness. Okay, happy full moon. Okay, bye.